Hi, and welcome back to Alt Baking Bootcamp. I'm Mia Rigdon, nutritionist, chef, and the founder of Rasa. I'm really excited about today's recipe. It's one of my favorite fall desserts, baked apples. When I was a kid, my mom used to make this almost weekly during this time of year because it's so easy to make on the fly with ingredients you probably already have in your pantry, and they're individually portioned, have all the smells and the flavors that just scream fall to me. All right, we're gonna make four baked apples today. So I've got these honey crisp apples, which are a little bit more tart, and they're perfect for baking. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to core, and I'll show you how to do it in a second. We're gonna core the apple with a paring knife, shave off a little bit of the top with a vegetable peeler, and then we're gonna make a yummy butter, oat, pecan mixture, and then stuff it in and bake it off. So I love apples because they're not too sweet, full of fiber, they're a really good source of quercetin, which is an important antioxidant, uh, and just a great everyday fruit. You know what they say, an apple a day. So I'm gonna start by just coring these apples. And when you're coring the apples, you wanna cut into the top of the apple and get the stem off. And then you also wanna to try to get as many of the seeds out as possible with keeping the shape of the apple intact. And this hole that we're creating in the center of the apple is what's gonna be filled with our delicious butter oat mixture. Okay, so we have our apples cored and deseeded, and now we are just going to combine the ingredients from our filling. We've got our butter and our maple syrup in here. We're gonna add the oats, and pecans, some raisins, We've got cinnamon and ginger because spices are an absolute must for fall baking. And then just a little pinch of sea salt to accentuate all the flavors. So we're just gonna turn this on, melt it together, and fill our apples. All right, this smells so good, and as you can see, all of our toppings are nicely coated with a little butter and maple syrup and spices. So I've placed our apples in a baking dish that, you know, gives the, each apple a little bit of space, but there's not, you know, too much excess room in the dish. And then I'm just going to fill each of the apples with our oat butter mixture. I like mine to be kind of overflowing a little bit. So our oven is set, ready to go. I've got our apples stuffed and I'm just gonna fill some water in the baking dish just about a quarter of the way up to help steam the apples. All right, these look ready to bake. So we're gonna bake these for about 50 minutes. You'll be able to tell you want the apple to be soft and you can always check it with a cake tester just to make sure. But some of the skin will start to peel off. Okay, so while our apples are baking, I'm gonna make the peanut butter caramel. This peanut butter caramel is gonna become a staple in your recipe repertoire. It's so simple to make and it's just super freaking delicious. All right, so I'm just gonna mix in the two tablespoons of brown rice syrup with one tablespoon of peanut butter. If there's a nut allergy in your house, you can use sunflower seed butter in here too. And then just a little pinch of salt and whisk it together with a fork. All right, so our apple is nice and warm out of the oven, and I'm just gonna drizzle some of our delicious caramel on top, and I'm gonna try it. All right, so let's dig in. 
The apple is super easy to cut into. It's nice and soft. You can really smell all the spices and the apple and the butter, of course. Make sure I get a little bite of everything. Mm. That's so good. <laughs> the apple is just so nice and soft and easy to cut into. Like it's a little bit firmer than what you might get in an apple pie, but really not much. And as you can see, like the apple holds intact. It's really super flavorful, delicious, comforting. This recipe has barely any added sugar in it. Also baking these apples is gonna create such a wonderful aroma in your house that really just feels festive. Thank you so much for joining me for today's episode of All Baking Bootcamp. I cannot wait to hear how your baked apples turn out. Don't forget the recipe is written in the description below and please subscribe to Well & Good's YouTube channel so you don't miss an episode of All Baking Bootcamp. I'll see you next time.